Guys, today we're going to be doing the manual swap to, not manual swap, the disc conversion swap to my wagon. She is currently drums. Back glass blew out. That'll find another hatch. Yeah, but we're going to be doing that swap to her. Then we're going to wash her up. So, yeah. Guys, so uh, this is off my rectacord. I took the cables and uh, rear trailing arm with hubs disc off my 97. They're essentially the same chassis, I believe. So these should be able to work. Got the cables here. So got to take out the drum cables out of the wagon. So uh, it's my first time doing this. So I probably have to take out the whole inside excuse the mess but i gotta take out all of that all the way at the back or just back seats unplug it from there push it through then run it out the bottom okay and it's a little dusty back there but it's because of the glass once i'm able to find a hatch then or a back glass then that'll be cool but let's uh get her jacked up Get everything ready, prepped, and yeah, get her done. All right, guys, we got the car jaw jacked up, got the hood up for the, um, I guess, when we go to lift the brakes, I'm going to try to lift the front upwards. And uh, so I can pull off the front tires, go up under there so I have enough room to get the old cables out. Once I have the old cables 50% out, you got to go like through the exhaust here, I'll show you. Got it on the jack stands. I'm gonna clear up. All right, so you got the cables going here, then under the dash, not the dash, but right here and up to the front for the emergency brakes. So I want to get that off first, and then pulling off the trailing arms, which is just 17 millimeter bolt here and stuff like that, and then brake lines, and should be pretty straightforward. I just don't remember if I have to take out the seats or not, so. We might be taking out the seats on her just to do it properly and getting her done. Yeah. And then we're going to also clean her out because she's a wee bit dirty. So excuse the mess. But, or can I just get away with now nah, because I still got to take out the center console and get to the back here because it comes to at least move this headrest out the way. It comes to at least back here the wires or the cables so they come through here and here and they go inside then go out to the body and then come out here and once those cables are down and taken a loose we can run these and then we can start taking off spindles which is to me it's easy so I can knock that off pretty fairly quickly let's jump right into it all right, guys, so we got the car jacked up, got the tire off, oh, got one of them off. So, um, like I said, I'm going to take the e-brake cable off, which is on the back. Right here is not the same, so I got to take the cable off, pop the uh, hub off right here, the uh, drum, sorry. Once the drum is off, I can see where the e-brake cable is going and compare compare them most likely i won't be able to use reuse this one if i am then i'll just retain it like i said it's my first time doing it so i'll bring you guys along got the coilovers pop this piece off it's 217 it's a 17 millimeter bolt here yeah, let me see Get, so i can see it so a 17 millimeter bolt here I have a wrench there and we have another one here pop those two out and then you have the one for the shock and or coil over right here so you pop those out the whole trailing all will come down once you hit this with the hammer a couple times you just hit the hammer get any well not any hammer it's good if you use like a big one get a big thor hammer or something and smack it here as many times until this pops down once you have the axle nut on and the pin out you just smack it here and it'll fall right down you'll need a a fork or nothing like that that way you can save the boot here don't hit this but hit this piece right here and she'll come right down 
Um, before that comes down, we're going to attack this right here, which is, is good to use, which is the brake line. Break the line free first. So use a ten, it's a 10 millimeter. Uh, I believe it's called a crow's foot or it's like a canted style uh, 10 millimeter for brake lines. It's best to use those instead of a regular wrench because if you don't have that, you will strip this bolt. Pop this out first, loosen it up to where it's leaking. Then you can hit this with a hammer to slide that out and then it'll come straight down. Then this is a 14 millimeter bolt here. Pop that out, slide it out, that's for the sway bar. And everything else you could just leave connected, except for, uh, well, the uh, e-brake is connected to the trailing arm, so that's why we're taking the um, emergency brake lines off first, so everything will go smooth and easy peasy. And uh, all right, so I'm gonna take the other rim off, which I still have it on. I'm gonna be using this jack to jack up the front with my impact. It's a 19 millimeter. Throw some nylon, um, some nylon grease on there, and go up with it. And pop this one off and once I pop this one off we'll start getting to the nitty-gritty So we got both sides out so <clears throat> only because i want to do it right i don't want to mess up nothing i'm going to take out the front seats and most likely the rear seats and just pull the carpet back simply because i don't want to mess it up but i'm guess i'm taking the longest route i know some of you may have a faster route in doing it um but i have to take out this piece right here to get to the emergency brake and I don't want to break it and I think it'll be the safest way for it to come out if I just take out all the seats like I don't even know no other way safest way to do it but that's what I'm going to do um let's get to it okay. All right, got the first seat out. Got a, a lot of trash under the seats. This is the first time me taking these seats out the car. Taking out the second seat now, working on the back, and then we're gonna take the middle piece out here. Once we take the middle piece out there, we'll put it in a nice place. <clears throat> wow, I really need to clean my carpet. Sheesh. Wish I had like a shampoo or something. Whoa. Well, I'm gonna get this seat out, show you the guys what it looks like, and then we'll keep moving forward. All right, guys, about to start taking out these screws here, all the way through here, and on the other side, got the seats out, how they look. So, get come out of here, so we're going to get these um, screws out once the screws are out. Let's all right, guys, we got the uh, middle console out, about to get these two 12 millimeter bolts and pop them out.
All right, guys, we got the cables out from the bottom here. So we had to pull the shroud, the heat shield here. I'm going to finish pulling the other 10 millimeters down right there. So when we go to install the new ones, we won't have any hassle. So I'm just giving you guys an update right here. So here are the old cables. From that side, we're about to take off the spindles here. Once the spindles are out, then uh, we'll be able to put the new ones in. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Um, the drums off, and we got the rotors on. <clears throat> got this side on. We already got the wheels blend, everything. That's how they look? Gives it a whole cleaner look. So it's gonna be nice. I'm also gonna be doing a five wheel conversion to her soon. I just has to have to get the front spindles. And yeah. I'm gonna throw the wheels on it, put it on the ground, and take it for a test drive. Cheers, boys. Loader's on. I already bled the brakes, got her up here to chill. Filling up. She brakes smooth. 
that's going to be it for this video. See you guys later.